What's going on YouTube? It is She Got Cakes back with another video. This video, it is gonna be a thrift video. I know it says it in the title, but real quick, I just wanted to talk to you guys about some stuff. So I don't even know if you guys are aware of this, but I just found out on Twitch. We were looking through our old videos on YouTube and saw my sneaker collection video from 2015 is already a year old. Now it became, look how many views is on it too. It's my most watched video. It has 219K views on that video. I believe it has somewhere around 5,000 likes. Um, probably over 100 dislikes too, just because you know, people are like that. But um, it's my most viewed video on YouTube and I made it back July 15th. Like July 15th was when I first posted that video. I didn't even know, like a year goes by so fast and like it went by in a blink of an eye. And when, before I posted that video, we were below 10,000 followers or 10,000 subscribers on YouTube and I think we were at like 8k or something and after that video you could just see how much my channel has really grown because of that sneaker collection video but the point of me bringing that up is I want to make another one because I thought for some reason I thought we still had like a month or two months away before we hit the one year mark on that video and I always wanted to re redo that video and show more of an updated collection of mine on YouTube but I wanted to do it at the year mark but we did miss it like I just did not realize that a year went by that fast Yeah, we're gonna hit the road. I'm gonna get on my all-white Roshis today. That's what I'm gonna be wearing You can see the fit just the olive cargos Tank top white tank top and then the all-white Roshis on and of course my lucky D Wade Miami heat hat Even though Dwayne Wade's not even at Miami anymore, but it's all good uh, But yeah, we're gonna hit the road. We're probably gonna go to savers. Maybe play-dohs I de well actually maybe savers I definitely want to go to play-dohs because I haven't been in a while so I'll see you guys once we get in the car Now, GG because my battery might die this video. So, if quality or audio gets weird, that's probably because I switched over to my cell phone. Um, damn, I hate when that happens. I hate when I forget to charge the battery on my cameras because it sucks so bad. Um, I only have one battery, too. Two. Best Buy is right there. I don't even think you guys can see it. Yeah, Best Buy is right there. So, I'm kind of tempted to go in there. Maybe they have an extra battery because I do need a battery. But last time I went there, they didn't have any Canon G7X batteries because they were trying to do away with the model, which is weird. But um, yeah, maybe I could go there and see if they have the Mark II battery, hopefully. All right, so let's get into Savers real quick, see what we can find. I haven't been to the Savers in a very long time, so. We got London on the train. Ooh. All right, so the best shoes I found out of every shoe that they have over at Savers are the Colby's. Look, they're in decent condition, but they want $40 for these. Hell no, they also have KDs here, but for the KDs, they want $30. That's not worth it, I'm sorry, but they're like, these are donated shoes for 40 bucks. But it's cool, I found some Colby's in a Savers. That's pretty dope. Out of everything else though, those are the only things worth really mentioning oh they have air maxes up here how much do they want for these hold on they probably want like an arm and a leg see 18 18 bucks for some beat up shoes i don't think so i feel gross just touching them what's these Are these like hyperfuses for $25, some beat up hyperfusers. The camera ended up dying as soon as I got into that Savers. Like I only got to show you guys the Kobe's. They did have some hats, but I didn't even film it because Best Buy was right next door. So I ran over to Best Buy to pick up this, hopefully hoping that it would charge. It's a micro USB. The guy even recommended it saying that if you just plug it into a USB outlet, it would charge. So I bought that and check it out. Like I have it all hooked up. I plugged it in right into here into my um whatever you call it the cigarette lighter i plugged it into that and i left it on and it's still blinking in the top so then i was like oh maybe it's because i left it on so then i would turn it off i turned it off for a good 10 minutes turn it back on and it's still blinking in the left corner saying it's dead so 
camera's completely dead and I can't film off of that, but we're gonna continue. I'm not going back to Sabres, I'm just gonna go to Plato's instead and just continue the little thrift shopping at Plato's. But the dope ass quality on the Canon G7X Mark II is gone, so you guys are gonna have to settle for this audio and quality. Hopefully y'all don't mind. Um, Cause I just don't feel like going all the way back home. It's already almost four. It's past four actually. It's 4:10. So I don't feel like going all the way home, waiting for the camera to charge, and then coming back down here. Cause this is like a 15 minute drive away from my house. So I don't feel like doing all that. Cause God knows how long it's gonna take for this camera just to charge up. But yeah, I'll see you guys once we get to Plato's. <laughs> Hi. Yo, did you hear that guy? He came at my neck real fast. So in case if you were wondering what the last clip was about, right when I walked into the Play-Doh store, somebody shouted me out and said, hey, SGK7. So I was like, oh, hi. Like, I kind of felt awkward. Like, guys, when people meet me in person and just shout out my name, I just, I'm an awkward person. Like, I'm just I'm just that awkward girl so um, <laughs> I don't know it was just like an awkward mess at first but I've come to find out he actually has a YouTube channel as well his name is Ryan Holmes TV I'll leave a link somewhere on the screen or um, possibly in the description if that's easier but yeah definitely check him out cool guy he seems really nice he actually streams on Twitch too but I don't know what his name is on Twitch he probably says it in his YouTube channel but if you want to check him out check him out just want to clarify that all right continue with the video Big ass heel. So they got Kobe's here. Bam. For how much? 30 bucks, hell no. These two. these new balance if only these were in my size I would have grabbed them because look at the condition for 16 bucks five and a half they got these air maxes for guys uh, 25 says 11 just oh they need a lot of cleaning on that mesh what the fuck? Look how creepy. I don't know what this shoe is, but they want 45 for it. Size nine and a half. It's a they, they wow, that's a L. Reebok purple slash shoe. It's clearly a fucking Nike sir. And they only have one. I don't know where the other one went, but they only have one, so I'll buy it so. I don't really see much. Other than those Kobe's in the front, they were the only good ones. Oh damn, oh wait, hold on. Hold on. Alright, they got some nice stuff. Look at these. 35 for a size 8. They look brand new. Yeah, practice. these are brand new. Look at these ones too. For $35, Jordan ones. They got these, um... Are these like an 8.5 or something? These are L's, but they have these for 25. These Air Force ones. All right, they got some nice stuff for guys here. Air Force ones, all purples for 40 bucks though. Come on now, chill out. Can we all just agree that the music they've been playing in this Play-Dohs is booty? Like, it's complete ass. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you guys gotta listen to this. And I hope to God, YouTube, please do not take down this video for this crusty ass music. It's not my fault. Oh my God. If you wear these, your ankles are bound to break. Forgetful. I remember the first days and the worst days and the first days. I remember the first days and the worst days and the worst case. Only thing I can remember is how I got right here in the first place. I remember the, uh, yeah, I remember. Right. Something that I got forgetful. 
better have time for me. Better next time that I see you, I'ma have something much better than a line for you or around for you. Keep on putting you on in all of my songs till you get around to me. Girl, you've been down and you stayed around. It's time I put this shit down on you. Let's meet that, baby. Girl, I'm real busy on a weekday. Sure to be my weekend, lady. Kill the pussy like a whole film. That's what you call freaking, baby. Guess what are these supposed to be? Ten bucks, size nine in women. What are these? I've never seen these. Can somebody please? These are definitely eight lows, but what are they? Like what colorway? What is the name of this? They look pretty new. They look like they've been worn like once or twice. Cause look at the pebbles. But look at that leather quality though. That's like real leather. Big ass foot. $35, 11 and a half. I don't know what these are, but these are also brand new. Look at the toe box. Like, I don't know who traded in a bunch of brand new Jordan 1s, but there's those. I think those are actually SBs. Are they SBs? It just says Nike. Hold on. They look like SBs, but um, yeah. Somebody just traded in a bunch of new shoes. Over here, they got the Supras, Kobe's, these Zoo Soldiers, I think, um, KB's. And those two KDs at the top. Um, and then that one. I don't know what this one is, but yeah, they have all those. Those are kind of beat up. How much do they want for the Kobe's? Hold on. Kobe's are a size 13. They're big as hell. Um, 45 bucks for those. I don't know. They're kind of tripping with these prices. But they don't have much. Like, I saw those boots. I was going to pick them up, but I didn't really want to. What's this? Look how big this shoe is. God damn. This is a size 15, 16 dollars. Who? in the world wears a size 15 but yeah they have just a bunch of really new shoes that's the only good thing i could find in here other than that i'm gonna get out there's really nothing that i want for myself watch right here look at all these new shoes except for those with these right here these three these are brand new these are new and these are new they only have the like, right shoe out on display they're all expensive as hell too. Alright, so right when I was about to leave and say that they didn't have anything, I found this Marc Jacobs sweater. So I think I'm going to pick this up. They only want six bucks for it. It just says WT sweatshirt, but you can see it says, it says Marc here. And you can see at the bottom it says J, but it gets cut off because it's like all like writing all over the place. I don't know what CBY means. But um, I see Jacobs right here again, so I'm gonna definitely pick this up for six bucks. It looks brand new. This is the only cop I'm getting. Though. All right, so the only thing I ended up getting was the Marc Jacobs sweatshirt. All right, guys, so I actually just got back home from the thrift video, and I realized I didn't even get to really say goodbye to you. Like I'm such a jerk. I'm terrible. I'm a terrible YouTuber. But I also wanted to show you guys what I got, and I did a little research. Pretty sure this is actually fake. I mean, I don't think I'm not big on Marc Jacobs. I don't know much about him. I just know he's a big designer, you know. And um, I was searching like for clothing all over the place. I couldn't find anything close to this sweater. It is. It feels really good. Like the materials on it feel so good. But there's supposed to be tags all on the inside that would say Marc Jacobs. I don't know. You guys probably can't even really tell. But there's no tags whatsoever. I even checked like in the sleeves at the bottom of the crew neck I can't find any tags so I'm gonna go out on a limb and just say that this was actually fake but I got it for 480 because the guy ended up um, giving me a little discount on top of the six dollars that it was already priced at which was cheap as hell but um he ended up making it marking it down to 480 and I took it definitely a great steal so yeah, but um, definitely it has to be fake. It, there's no way that this is actually a real Marc Jacobs, but it feels really nice. Like the quality of it, it just feels like well made. Like it doesn't feel like it's gonna shrink in the wash and it doesn't feel like something you would buy off of Amazon or eBay, if you know what I'm saying. Like, you know, like that cheap crew neck, that cheap cotton feel. It does not feel like that. Actually, It actually feels really soft, but um, definitely a great buy. That's the only thing I ended up buying today. They had Jordan 1s, like brand new stuff, crazy for men, but nothing for girls or my size, because I don't like to buy stuff that's not my size. But yeah, I'm going to wrap up the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this thrift video. If you did, leave it a big like, <laughs> leave a like. 
like down below because that's how I am able to tell if you enjoy the video content. Also comment down below if I missed anything or if I should have picked up something. Comment down below also what those eights were, those woman eights. They were, I should have looked them up, but they were all brown and the leather on them was amazing. Like the quality, like Jordan brand, please bring those back. But yeah, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of me. See you guys next time. Bye.